Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest, and today I'm going to show you a breathing into a bag experiment using our new wireless Bluetooth and CO2 sensors. So Bluetooth, CO2 and O2 sensors. Now, the really cool thing with both the sensors is they don't just have O2 and CO2 built in. Both of them also have pressure, temperature and hum uh, humidity built into both of them. So with our Bluetooth sensors, the USB and Bluetooth built in. Lots of other things the CO2 and the O2 sensors can be used for. We, uh, anything from uh, transpiration experiments, if you want to maybe get some spinach working in an environment, have both of those in our large environment chamber. You could log it that way. Today's experiment is going to be using them with a bag, try and put as much <clears throat> air out of the bag as possible, one breath into it, seal the bag, and then we're going to watch it attached to the EasySense 2 software and watch and see what happens to all four of the sensors. So to start off with, I'm going to turn each of these on. So it takes two seconds just to hold it down and it starts flashing blue. That's now broadcasted our Bluetooth. The same with the CO2 sensor here. So now that should be flashing. That one's flashing, so there you go. So we're now both flashing on there. We now go and open our EasySense 2 software up. On the front of both of these is a little white box there with a six digit number inside. Okay, so when it comes up with data harvest, this is the CO2 sensor, it'll say CO2, then that unique six digit number for every single sensor. So you always know which one you're using. If I go and click devices at the top here, it's picking them both up on there. Oh, I didn't turn CO2 on. <laughs> Let's turn that again. There we go. So we're now turned on on there. Someone else in the building is using motion at the moment, but we don't want to connect to that one. So we're going to connect to the CO2. <clears throat> Just takes a second or two to connect, and then we will connect to the O2. Now, because there's pressure, temperature, and humidity in both, we don't want double readings of those on the screen. So I'm just going to turn those on on one of them. So on the CO2, I just want humidity, and I want temperature switched on as well. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can actually show this experiment today. So to start off with, I'm just going to leave it as it opens up, collect the data and then show you the different ways that you can display that data and then we can analyze that accordingly. So, put the sensors both in the bag, force out as much air as we can, click on start. So, deep breath inside and then seal it. You'll see the red line on there is the CO2 sensor absolutely shooting up, which is brilliant. So this is when we have to wait a few more Seconds, maybe 30 seconds, as long as you want, really. But you can see on the right-hand side here, O2 is also dropping. So CO2 is at the moment at 16,000 parts per million. O2 is at 17.8. Humidity is at 75. And temperature is at 23.5. Now, at sea level, in 21 degrees, you've got 20.9% oxygen. Uh, CO2, as long as you're not in too much of a high population area, city area, you should be getting about 1,000 parts per million background. So you can see that's 20 times higher than background now. CO2 uh, is dropping nicely as well, as you can see on the screen just here. But I think that's enough to make the point, so we'll now stop. Now, we don't know in the software exactly what you're going to be using together. So we put a axis on the left. Now, there's a couple of things we can do. We can go to our local tools on here, and we can have the multi-scale. So that works an absolute treat. If I now go to tools and go to values, we can start over here and we can see uh, temperature was 23.3 to start. Oxygen was 20.4, so slightly below, but that's okay. Humidity was 49.9 and CO2 was 827 parts per million. But at its peak, well, towards the end, if we go right over to here, you can see CO2 has gone up by 20 fold. Oxygen's dropped down to 17.6. Humidity has gone up a lot from 46 to 75. Temperature's played stay pretty level, which you expect. Maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 maximum change there for the temperature. Now that's one nice way to show it, but there is another way. You can have more than one graph on our software. So I'm actually going to show four graphs. On the first one, I'm only going to have CO2. On the second one, now I need to show them all as a line graph. Let me just go ahead in time and turn the line graph on, on all of them. So we now have four line graphs showing up, but at the moment, I'm going to turn off CO2, humidity, and temperature on that one. This one, I'm going to turn off CO2, oxygen, and temperature. And this one, turn them all off apart from the temperature. Now we can go to the top here and go to tools, go to values, 
And again, when we start on the left-hand side, we can see them a lot more clearly, but on the right-hand side here under values gives you all the live readings, all the readings as you go. And as you pull it across, it pulls across all four graphs at once. And this is also an extremely nice way to do it. So this is exhaled air to show you how easily you can do that. Now, to follow on with other experiments, you could breathe into, in and out of that more and more if you wanted to. If you get below 12, 13%, make sure you are sitting down of oxygen. That is, you can become lightheaded. So make sure students are sitting down when you're doing it that way. Uh, there's lots more videos on our website. If you go to our secondary academy through our website through data-harvest.co.uk, we have videos in three sections. We have them on how to use the Bluetooth sensors, how to use the Bluetooth sensors with experiments, and how to use the EasySense 2 software. And we're continually adding more and more information onto the website, uh, which obviously is, uh, takes you straight to our YouTube channel, and there's lots of experiments there. If you'd like more information, please contact us here at sales at data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you.